promised, today I'm gonna show you some Gunslug 3. I've been working on it since September. It started out like as a very violent sequel. It changed a lot since then. It's now more a slow-paced tactical roguelike. It's still Gunslugs. Let's just dive in and I'll uh, talk you through it. Uh, this time the character select screen will be slightly different from the original Gunslugs, which was really messy because every character would start on a different world. And this time uh, every character will have different abilities, so they might run slower but be able to carry larger weapons or more ammo. Um, they might have a higher uh, drop rate when opening crates, uh, they might find more health, stuff like that will be the variation in each character. Let's just pick uh, Mr. Sly Rocco and dive into the game. And here we go. There's a overworld, a top world, uh, with a few towers. You enter the tower, you kill or destroy everything in the tower and you take down the tower. And once you take down all towers, you can exit the level. There will be a chopper waiting for you to take you to the next. The towers are still uh, procedurally generated, but I'm using a template now like I did in Meganoid. So, uh, every room is designed, but the order of the rooms and how they connect is all random. Making uh, for interesting levels that still have uh, a variation every time you play. I find this uh, the best solution to create random worlds. Because uh, completely random like I did in Gunslux 2 didn't really work out to be very interesting. And uh, I can do a lot more by just designing a couple of templates and then mixing them up. The templates in themselves have uh, random tiles, so sometimes a ledge will be there, sometimes it will not be. And the templates can be mirrored, so sometimes the ledge will be on the left, sometimes it will be on the right. Making for a uh, large variation in levels. So the special rooms are uh, back. This is a combination of uh, a shop, but also the buildings I used in Gunslugs 1. So eventually there will be weird stuff there, like a voodoo priest offering you a voodoo mask, which is a second life or an extra life. Uh, a princess that wants to stay hidden, so you can, off you can uh, get some coins from her as long as you don't tell anybody. Things like that. Maybe the guy with the Game Boy opening up an extra level, a bonus level to play through. And then we'll have the boss fights. So every world will get a boss fight in one of the towers. Um, I might change it to always the last tower, but it's also pretty funny to have it randomly in one of the towers. We'll see. It's still something I'm, I'm designing and I'm thinking about. Uh, the bosses, I plan to have three bosses at minimum per world and they will be chosen randomly so you'll never know quite which enemy you'll face in the boss room. This is the second world. Uh, I really like how the river turned out in the background. Originally I had a really uh, pixelated background, but I decided to blur it a little more, bit more as to really bring the focus on the foreground, make it more clear what, what you can shoot and what you can't shoot. Um, and the weapon system is uh, something I'm still working on, but right now you have a base weapon and one alternate weapon. The base weapon never changes and the alternate weapon is something you can pick up. And every tower has uh, one or multiple base weapons. Um, there are three bullet types, uh, normal bullets, explosives or energy and the various weapons use the various types of bullets. So uh, right now there are a few uh, energy weapons uh, shooting plasma. There's a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher that used explosives. And 
there are uh, various guns and semi-automatics, uh, things like that, that use the bullets. I still plan to add a lot of other uh, types of weapons. This overworld map is also randomly generated, so um, uh, the first world didn't have any uh, ledges where you could drop down uh, at the bottom of the screen, but in world 2 you will notice that there are gaps and, and stuff being different. It's still based on templates, but it's also uh, randomly generated and it also looks at, uh, at which world you are in. I plan to have five worlds, uh, pretty much the same worlds as the original Gunslugs. Right now I have three of those in the game and I still need to add um, Egypt and the Hell World. And then I'll probably add a few extra bonus worlds or alternate uh, pathways. So that's it. Let me know what you think about the game. Um, drop some comments. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week. Bye.